Hi, Dr. Alan Feller here, and we're going to discuss flight time. Now, in the Jeppesen Study Guide, there's no less than 11 questions about flight time. So, stands to reason that you're probably going to encounter this either on your actual written test or on your check ride. So, uh, let's go through it. Not to mention, by the way, that you're probably going to need this in real life to, to fly anywhere outside of your, your normal uh, local area. So what I did is I created a worksheet, which I call flight time. And I put in the worksheet the variables that you need to have a grasp of so that you can answer the questions. And all of the data that you're going to find from the question, you're going to force through this very simple formula that I made up. And don't worry, it's really, really easy. Here we go. The first thing you're going to want to do when you read your questions is you're going to identify the airport from which you're, you're leaving and the airport to which you're arriving. So you're going to write that down here. In the question, you're going to be given certain data. So the first thing that uh, they wind up giving you is the wind direction and the wind speed between your two airports. So that's given. So I'll write given here. So wind direction and wind speed are given. The true airspeed is also given. They give that in every question, so that's also given. So that's two pieces of data that's already given to you. The third one uh, is only sometimes. Sometimes they add on time. Don't worry about what that is now. You'll understand it when we do the questions. But that's also a given if they're adding on time. What you're going to do in every question is you're going to find the true course and you are going to find the distance between the airports. And the, how do you do this? Well, if you saw the introduction on using the navigational plotter, you see how easy it is to find the distance between airports and find the true course between airports, which is in degrees. Once you have all this information, you can actually calculate the ground speed. And that's really the only calculation you're making, is the ground speed. And I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to find the true course and the distance between the airports. They're just going to give you the wind direction and wind speed between the airports. They're going to give you the true airspeed. And if they want added time, they're going to give you the added time, which I know you don't understand yet, but you will. Once you have all that information, you're just going to plug it into this very simple formula. Distance, you will have found, so you'll plug that in. And ground speed, you will have calculated based on this other information, which I will show you in a moment. So distance divided by ground multiplied by 60 minutes. Don't worry about it, where I got the 60 minutes from. It's just a conversion factor. You're going to use it in every single question. That will give you your answer in minutes, unless they want you to add on flight time which you will again understand later. Then it would be the answer plus the added time will give you the answer. Don't worry, it's really simple. This is just an introduction to it. Now, uh, in the next video, we're going to actually uh, do the calculations. We'll start doing problems. And you will see how easy this really is. Okay, let's go to it.